This is um, this is gonna be aces a lot. I, I still don't think that like, and I and I could technically speaking just just make the call. Like I could just technically overcall. Oh shit. This wasn't aces. Oh my god! Oh shit! This is, this is kind of interesting. I have a really strange hand, but I really feel this brain is just really bladed. I mean, I, like, there's no. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I shouldn't feel that way. Could shove. Probably don't have much fold equity though, so I'm just gonna call. Still just gonna call. Take against this price. I have to call, so I'm gonna call. Sad face. Also, sad face. I think bluffing that river makes sense with nine ten. So, I know, like I'm comfortable with my play. It just didn't didn't work that time though. So, um, like for example, there's a guy Jeffrey West who wrote wrote the book, a book uh, wrote a book called Scale, and Scale is a very technical book. And Jeffrey West is a brilliant scientist who works at Santa. And this is an interesting spot to limp. I don't usually limp here. Like, this is 40 bigs effective. This is a very weird spot to limp. Uh, I'm gonna ISO. Yep, I am. I'm gonna check the flop. I could have completed, by the way. Like, completing's fine. Go with half pot. It's like half pot's like my my I don't know what to bet sizing. Uh, I guess I call. I don't really feel like this range is like weak enough, but yes. Did I need the ten? Tell me. Did I need? Do you guys? What do you, you guys? What do you think? Did I need the ten? I don't know if there's some like trick and like you guys could see what he had. I don't know yet. Did we need the 10? Right? Did we need the 10? Decide right now. What did he have? You don't have to no, that's too hard. What did no, did I need the 10 or not? Was it was the 10 necessary? Did we have the best hand? Okay. Post your thoughts. Post your thoughts. Did we need the 10? I'm serious too. Should be like, just a why if yes, I needed the 10. And an N if no, I didn't need the 10. Y for yes, N for no. Let's see what you guys, where you guys are at. Did BBZ need the 10? Did I or didn't I? Okay, like, we can't wait all fucking day. Press Y or N. Hurry the fuck up. All right, you good? Cool. Here we go. This is what my opponent had. King 2 offsuit. I love the ISO. If that's, I was right as far as like where I thought it was, what, what I thought was going on. So, here we go. King 2 off. Two of clubs. He had outs. Come on, Dunf. Okay. Pretty much a no-brainer no decision. I just don't like calling these th because, like, I don't win these hands as much. It's always disappointing when you see this. Like, look now. Now what? Obviously, we're going to call a bet. What happens when he barrels? Not that he's always going to barrel. There'll be a lot of checking. Could it happen this on this street? Doesn't. But it could have. Could happen on the next street. My range is more uncapped. It's always important to keep that in mind. Like, because he 3.5x, I still have, like, aces. I wouldn't raise, like, with this stack depth. So, like, if he goes too nuts with bet sizing, then he's short. So, but if he goes, if things get too nutty, I can just fold. Because, like, I do have the strong parts of my range. If I call a turn, I'm going to end up calling the river a lot because of the price I'm going to be getting. I already know that. Oh, fuck. I don't believe I have to call this river very much. I would have to believe like that the three and a half X preflop has a lot of like jack eight in it or something. I just don't believe that. It's interesting when he checks, it's tempting to shove, but I don't think it's going to be great. So I'm not going to do it. I told you guys I was going to be calling a lot of river bets. <clears throat> like if I called the turn that I would be calling a lot of river bets because of the 
odds I was going to be getting. So, obviously, that, like, a king and a ten, like, they changed things pretty dramatically. But, you know, if the river was a six, we were going to get that player's stack. Or we weren't, but we were winning the hand if, that were, if there was a six. Well, I'm not folding. Okay, ace, queen, or king. Or ten, jack, or five. Deuce doesn't do it, though. Deuce doesn't do it. You should still respond to other people's hands that they post. Because if you respond to other people's hands that they post... Then they, someone else, like myself, or someone might like look, read your thought process and be like, eh, it doesn't really work that way. And we can correct that. So. Gotta win another flip. Well, gotta win this flip. Oh, that's a good start to a flip. There we go. 100%. 100%. That's all you, that's what I need. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need to see that number a few more times to win this tournament. Gonna flat this one. Shove a lot of them, but I'm not gonna shove this one. <clears throat> gonna call six four gotcha gotcha there we go he did have the best hand on the flop that's true but more men, money went in on the river. <laughs> more money went in on the river. <laughs> so, not the worst. Not the worst. I feel like the like the anti sweaters. I just don't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, it's because poker's not like follow like you like you don't need to follow me to follow um to follow the, to follow poker. Like right? Like it's not like following. If you don't follow me, you can't follow. Parker. Or, like, if you don't follow me, you can't follow Darwin. So, like, you have no choice. So, I understand people who anti-sweat in sports. I actually get that. Like, sure. Why not? Like, you gotta watch the fucking game. So, you might as well have a team you hate. Like, if you want... If that's your personality type, like, go for it. I get it. Sort of. This seems close. I'm gonna peel, but it seems close. Um... <clears throat> and... I'm going to have an awful hard time folding this turn with, like, my hands in my range. So this is going to be real gross. Like, basically everything just picked up something. Yeah, I mean, like, against that sizing, this is easy. It just didn't make any motherfucking sense. I'm, I'm being serious, too. Like, I, like, a solver would hate me for this. Whew, my heart got probably got going. Like I don't know if it's gonna spike or not, but like when I do stuff that I know a solver hates, yeah, it's going a hundred. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew it was gonna get emotion, like a little bit, a little bit of a race there. I was like, because I did something, I did that, and I know a solver is gonna be like, you moron. Like I know when I look at that later, a solver is gonna be like, you fucking idiot. But like that sol that sizing choice just made me feel like, what part of the tree do you have that I'm concerned about? Like, hey guys, BBZ here. I am pumped to tell you that we've got Ape Styles, aka John Van Fleet, joining the seminar roster. So he is going to be creating content for us one day a week, aka creating content for you guys one day a week. It's going to be high level strategy. He, you know, he's got the best tenure. He's a $3 million winner. There's, there, it's difficult to put a number two face on it. He was a badass when I started playing the game. So, you know, I, like I said, I couldn't be happier to have him creating content with us. You guys can check him out on the BBC Poker website if you're interested in joining those seminars and now you can get back to your video this is um, i have a no on spire it's a sort of interesting situation this is gonna be aces a lot i i still don't think that like and i and i could technically speaking just just make the call like i could just technically over call um Oh, shit. Well, this wasn't aces. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I run so good. I run the best. Holy shit. This... I'm not coming back from that one. You guys, I'm going to get... Oh, God, that's so dirty. I feel bad. I mean, I don't feel that bad. But I feel kind of bad. I feel like I'm supposed to feel bad.
Do I feel? I don't feel bad. But like, oh my god, that's so sick. Oh god, I run so good. Like I get deep, I run so good. I run so good. We just pick a we pick a tournament. We're just like, I'm gonna fucking win. Like I'm just gonna try. To, I'm gonna win this one. Like I'm gonna get in with king queen against kings, and the guy's fucked. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's insane. It's not like it's not about the money. This is a fucking hundred dollar tournament. Seventeen thousand dollars to first. We bought in for eight. But it's not about the money. It's about the... It's just like, when I get deep, it feels like I run so good. It feels like I run so good when I get deep. Oh, Jesus. That was sick. Could stab the flop. Don't think it matters much. Oof. PSB, eh? This, bet, this hand calls a lot of bets below PSB. Kind of feel like this hand still calls anyways, but... Also an ICM component to this that makes me feel like it's punty. Is five hundred thousand hands a good enough sample? Uh, yeah, it's way too too many. Like, you, you, you get less hands. Get less hands. You don't need five hundred thousand. You're more. You're better off taking more recent ones, right? Uh, I would say. I would say that you'd be better off taking more recent ones. This hand's not seven two offsuit. We can shove a lot blind versus blind. There's a pay jump here, so he's got to be thinking ICM. And, you know, getting kind of tight, and his hand's definitely going in. Not close, either. I don't think. Not with 10-6. I would appreciate a fold, though. Like, he could have had 7-3, and we could just moved on to the next hand. Or he could have King-Jack, and then, like, we're going to get fucking looked up. I would really appreciate the 7-3. How do you upload hands from... Par oh, shit. I'll take another 6. Take a 10. Eh, it's a game. Happens. Don't think I made a mistake or anything, obviously. All right, final table. Let's pull some final table shit. Uh, there we go. Put the spaceship up. Let's go. <clears throat> That sucks. Got a spike and ace. Take spades. It's gonna happen most of the time when we when we, when we run it with with ace queen against kings. Sucks though. <clears throat> okay. Okay. This is that doubling hand. It's one of them. Could get called by tens. Could get called by nines. Could get a fold. We wanted to get called. Spot sucks. Not gonna lie. Can't shove. Doesn't strong hand. Calling really blows. Um, so does folding. I would definitely fold nine six. And I feel like I'm supposed to call with this. In this distribution. I call. Yahtzee! There we go. There we go. Now I feel better. Whew! Feeling good. Love calling here pre-flop. It's great. Old 9-7. Never gonna fold. Ever. Just always good with this one. Here we go. Put out that small bet. Kagus, you can call. It's okay, Kagus. Oh, 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 what did I say about running good deep? What did I say? And you know he bet the flop, so he doesn't have pocket kings. What did I say about running good deep? Who does that? Who do we know? <laughs> Who do we know that runs good deep? Who? Call. Call, Kagus. Call. He hasn't folded yet. <laughs> it's a good start. Gotta have a starting point. Kagus hasn't folded yet. Doesn't have a nine, though, which sucks. Like, you know, just want him to call, so. <laughs> once I shove the river, I want him to have a nine. But once the river's a seven, I want him to have a nine. But, um, but yeah. Okay. 
I could work with this. It's always going in. We got other people left to act. Lots of hands aren't going to be so fucking obvious here. Damn it. Just hoping not to flip. I'll take a king. Mm, sad face. All right. I mean, it could have had ace queen. It's totally possible. It's not what that player had, but you know, one can help. Uh, 12 bigs, hijack threes. Mm, I think I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna drop this in. There hasn't been a single decision that I've had to make that like knowing their shark scope would have helped. I can tell you knowing his button race versus infrequency would make a big difference to me. But that's not gonna the shark scope's not gonna tell me what that what the answer to that is. Like this is just super standard. Like there's nothing to be done about it. And like if I looked it up on Shark Scope, like if he was losing, winning, like black, gray, I mean we're we're jamming ace jack off suit with ten big blinds all day long. So we took six for twenty eight hundred bucks. We had a losing Sunday. It's fine. We played two, two and a half Ks and lost both, and that's pretty much our net losses. We played two high stakes games and didn't win them. So we lost money. Um, thanks very much for hanging out with me today, guys. I definitely appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow uh, with another stream. Coco, knock it off. My cat's scratching at my door. I just had my doors painted. Can you believe that fucking cat? Okay. Make sure you're following me on Twitch. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, BBZ Poker. Following us on Instagram. We're trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, and it actually helps us. It's free, so you can help me out. We're trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram so that we can get that swipe up thing enabled. We don't have that yet because we're at 9,950. So go to fucking Instagram and help me get to 10,000. I would appreciate it. Thanks very much. Outside of that, you know, we talked a lot about different products and stuff that I work with. Um, Range Converter, make sure you check them out. Make sure you check out ICMizer. I appreciate it, guys, and I will see you tomorrow because I will be back tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Probably with cash games, but, you know, I'll be back nonetheless.